Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Whether you enjoy baking, cooking, or both, many recipes require some type of fat. The technical term is lipid, which includes oils and fats. Oils are liquid at room temperature, unlike fat, especially saturated fat, which is solid at room temperature. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the differences between the major types of fats used for cooking and baking, butter, margarine, shortening, and lard. Many recipes and professional chefs recommend butter for cooking and baking. Butter is 85% fat and 15% water. Butter is usually available salted and unsalted, with most chefs and cooks recommending unsalted butter. The amount of sodium in salted butter varies by manufacturer. For more information about the differences, click on the link in the description of this video to watch my video about salted versus unsalted butter. Neglecting sodium, the nutritional value for salted and unsalted butter is identical. Both provide 7 grams of saturated fat per tablespoon. Low-fat diets and saturated fat and butter increase sales of solid and soft margarine. Margarine is made by hydrogenating vegetable oil. The amount of hydrogenation determines whether the margarine is solid like butter or soft and easily spreadable. Margarine for cooking and baking is 80% fat and 20% water. Partial hydrogenation produces trans fat which has been linked to heart disease, elevated LDL cholesterol, and decreased HDL cholesterol. Butter and regular margarine have the same number of calories and total fat. Saturated fat is significantly higher in butter. Although margarine is lower in saturated fat, it's a major source of trans fat for home cooking. Soft margarine, suitable for cooking, sold in the United States, is another major source of trans fat. One option for reducing trans fat and saturated fat is to use shortening, which is 100% fat. Although the shortening nutrition facts label states it has zero grams of trans fat per serving, Shortening does contain partially hydrogenated oil. U.S. regulations currently allow manufacturers to claim zero grams of trans fat if the total amount is less than 0.5 grams per serving. Comparing the three most common types of fats used in the United States, vegetable shortening appears to be healthier than butter or margarine. Although current research indicates that saturated fat is preferable to trans fat, it's still important to limit total saturated fat in your diet. Shortening, made from hydrogenated vegetable oil, was marketed as a healthier alternative to lard made from pig fat. In recent years, lard has made a comeback in the United States due to the growing concern about trans fat. Comparing the nutrition value of lard to shortening and other fats, lard has more calories than shortening, butter, or margarine, and is second only to butter in saturated fat. Based on volume, shortening and lard have 10 to 20 percent more calories than butter and margarine. Margarine and shortening are lowest in saturated fat, but both currently contain trans fat. If you're concerned about trans fat and saturated fat, lard is an alternative to higher saturated fat butter. In regards to trans fat, lard is considered trans fat free. Butter contains naturally occurring trans fat. There's ongoing research to determine the health effects of naturally occurring trans fat. Shortening currently contains less than 0.5 grams of trans fat. Check the amount of trans fat in soft margarine and use it in moderation. Do not cook or bake with solid margarine containing two or more grams of trans fat per serving. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching.